recently I've made a few videos on why godly men and women should be concealed carrying. And every time I post a video like that, inevitably there's a few comments that say he who lives by the sword dies by the sword, that that's actually a bad idea for priests and preachers or just men and women of God to, to conceal carry. So I want to kind of speak to what is it that Jesus actually meant when he said he who lives by the sword dies by the sword because it's not as easy as you think. Now, before we get into this, I do want to take a moment and thank our sponsor, Victory Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram out of Kansas City, Kansas for sponsoring his channel, but being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ, for feeding the hungry, for taking care of the orphans, uh, for by building orphanages. The, the, the ministries they're involved in around the world are really incredible. So I'm going to put the link below, check out their website, check out their Giving Hope, Hope uh, link. That's going to show you all the ministries around this world that they're involved in. Um, and I, I share this with you because if you look at their what they're involved in and you find that there actually is a ministry in your hometown, because uh, there is one in my hometown that they run, a uh, food pantry. So I recommend then that you buy a car from them because you can buy online. You They can ship anywhere if you're going to buy a car because otherwise you're just going to buy that same car from the guy down the road and he's just going to put all that money, he's going to put it in his pockets. Uh, you might as well support the local ministry. So that link is below. So what is it that Jesus meant when he said, he who lives by the sword dies by the sword? Well, let's start by saying in the moment that he's saying that to Peter is Jesus is walking into uh, what he came for. He In that moment, they're seizing him and Peter's defending him with a sword. And Jesus, you know, first of all, this is supposed to happen. Like this is literally why he came here was to die. This is why he came. But he tells Peter to put his sword away and says, he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. But just earlier that same night, he told him that they needed a sword for self-defense. Uh, so what is it that he's talking about? Well, here's what it is. When you are a soldier, when you attack somebody in some sort of way, that is you living by the sword. So if I'm a soldier and I'm living by the sword, well, chances are I'm gonna, that's how I'm going to die. That's the same way I'm going to die. So if I'm going out wielding weapons and assaulting people with these weapons, well, that's probably how I'm going to die. Whereas, and if I'm carrying a gun for self-defense, and I, which is what Jesus told them to do just a few hours earlier, if I'm carrying a weapon for self-defense and I'm attacked, that's not the same thing. Then I'm just dying by the sword and I'm not even living by the sword. I'm just dying by the sword. It's a harsh reality that Christians need to open their eyes to, that you need to be protecting yourself. Now, again, you know, if you have a job like as a police officer or a soldier or you're some sort of mercenary or you're a gun for hire or that sort of thing, well, chances are that's how you're going to die because that's your job. Your job is to fight people with weapons and he who lives by the sword is probably going to die by the sword. And that's an important lesson that we need to learn as Christians. That does not mean that we should not be carrying arms to protect ourselves. Those are two totally, totally different things. Uh, they're not even in the same category at all, other than it just involves weapons. But what Jesus told Peter was to put his sword away, one, because he's walking into fulfillment of why he came. You know, he's about to redeem mankind, which is a lot more important than what Peter thinks is important. But two, because that's not what's meant for Peter. Peter is not a soldier. Peter should carry a weapon, and he had a weapon on him because Jesus told him to have a weapon on him. But what Peter should have done in that moment is stand back and say, well, wait a second, Jesus literally told us this was going to happen. So we need to just let this play out. But the moment he pulls out his sword and he goes to attack... Uh, one of the the, the 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 temple guards, that moment he is living by the sword, and there's a high likelihood that he'd die by the sword too. If that battle in that that battle in that night continued, chances are Peter would not have lived through that battle, and that's the, the reality of it. But if you're attacked, of course you should have arms on. So uh, there you go. I I I just I think. I think that's really a common struggle that, that all Christians have at some point in their life is, well, I'm a Christian, I, thou shall not kill. 
Um, you know, so I shouldn't wear a gun, but you know what? Let's even talk about thou shalt not kill for a second. It's really thou shalt not murder. You know, God is a warrior. You know, God loves a warrior. So don't act like, you know, just cause you, you know, you're, you carry arms that somehow you're not Christian anymore. David carried, like everybody throughout the history of the Bible had some sort of arms present. And then when the commandments that he gives, uh, Moses and the Israelites involve all sorts of necessary killing. So, you know, you have to kind of use If I'm defending myself and somebody pulls a gun on me and they try to kill me and I don't defend myself because I'm a Christian, I'm not doing anything correct. I'm just about to die. And that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to take it one step further for you. If somebody's about to attack and kill your family and you don't pull that gun out and defend your family, that's not okay with God either. That, that he hates that stuff. That is not okay either. So, you know, you really have to come to grips with, well, what is it okay that I do if I'm going to carry a gun? Well, you can't assault. You can't you know, now if you're going to be a Christian cop or a Christian soldier, that's okay. But you have to know that who, he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. And if you're killing in warfare, that's very different. Again, God loves a warrior. If you're killing in warfare, that's very different than I'm just a murderer. You know, if I'm a soldier and a Christian and I have to kill somebody in warfare, that doesn't fall in the category of thou shall not kill. Because when God gave those commandments, thou shalt not kill, the Israelites were involved in all sorts of warfare and always really have been, except for just a brief time that Solomon was the king. But other than that, they were engaged in warfare constantly and are right now. So we have to get these things out of our head that somehow, you know, you know when God said, thou shalt not kill, I can't defend myself. When Jesus said, he who lives by the sword dies by the sword, I can't defend myself? No, that's nonsense. Of course you can defend yourself. Jesus told the disciples, you need a sword. You need one. I'm about to go and be killed, you know, like prophecy said. And when I'm gone, you're going to need to defend yourself. So you're going to need a self-defense weapon. And then just a few hours later, he tells them to put it away. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. But that's what he's talking about. You need a weapon for self-defense. If you don't, you're foolish, but you don't want to be on the assault. You can't be on the assault because then he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. If you're constantly pulling out your weapon and using it, well, there's a chance that you're going to die that way. Um, because if, if I'm going to use a gun in self-defense, there's a likelihood that I never have to draw that gun ever. And if I do, it's probably just going to be one time. Um, you know, most people that have been involved in a self-defense shooting situation have only been involved in one. Um, and that's the idea is that if you're constantly pulling it because that's your job, well, that's probably how you're going to die if you die in that job. But if you're just pulling it, you're just carrying it around, defending yourself and that one moment you pull it, that's not the same thing. And we have to decipher the difference between those two things. Uh, so there you go. Any thoughts or insight, definitely put it below. Uh, would like to take a moment and say that most people watch this channel, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.